Automobile manufacturers come up with car concepts in order to create something that every true gearhead would enjoy. Every car manufacturer strives to create icons that will live on for years to come. However, between the concept and the final product, the inspiration fades, and either the comfort, performance or exterior design vanishes into thin air. So here are the 7 fast cars people think are slow. Number 7 is the Renault Megane GT220. This car looks like an excellent blend of performance and practicality on paper. The Renault Sport Megane 275 Trophy R is quite simply one of the best handling front-wheel drive cars on sale. But with heinous racing seats, Larry graphics and a strut brace running through the boot of the car, it is not a car for someone who wants to slip under the radar. Fortunately, the people over at Renault have your back. The Megane Sport Tourer GT220 has all of the good bits from the 275 Trophy R wrapped up in a humble estate body. Tourer receives the same 2-liter turbocharged engine as the Trophy R, dampers and revised springs and a Renault Sport honed chassis. At number 6 we have Mercedes 500e. Approximately 120 cars were produced and later models were built together with the iconic Audi RS2. A few vehicles are equipped with a 6-liter V8 engine developed by AMG. But for ultimate sleeper status, I would really stick with the 500e. Anyone who knows will drew over at this model designation, launched 30 years ago in 1990. The 500e was a high-performance variant of the W124 developed in collaboration with Porsche. The 500e obtained a naturally aspart 322 horsepower V8 engine which allowed the car to reach 100 km per hour in an astonishing 6.1 seconds. The saddle muscular body is the top of the range model in the 124 model series and has long been one of the brand's most desirable young classic models. A modest appearance at first glance, only the somewhat more voluminous wings, a modified front apron and the slightly lower body with inset fog lamps differentiated from the other models in the 124 series. But then there is the engine, 8 cylinders in a V configuration with 326 horsepower. All of them make this saloon something of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Again, the top speed is electronically limited to 250 km per hour. These are performance figures worthy of a sports car. Number 5 is the Passat 4 Motion W8. This is one of the most excellent cars of the last decade. It offers a respectable performance, dependable handling and roomy interior for not unreasonable amounts of money. The W8 was Uber exclusive with only 246 samples being sold in the United Kingdom, which was seemingly something to do with the car's eye-watering £38,000 price tag. However, when you consider the development work that went into the engine, you can see why this car was so expensive. The W8 engine was formed entirely by sticking two VR6 blocks with of course a couple of cylinders lopped off together at 72 degrees. In fact, the car was radically an engineering testbed, with derivates of the highly compact motor working their way into the Bugatti Veyron and VW Phaeton. In fact, the car was radically an engineering testbed, with derivates of the highly compact motor working their way into the Bugatti Veyron and VW Phaeton. The four-wheel drive system made this vehicle a dazzling all-weather machine. If you purchase one in estate form, you will have yourself an understated practical weapon. At number 4 we have the GMC Cyclone. The GMC Cyclone is undoubtedly one of the craziest cars in GM history. As early as 1991, it could beat the Ferrari in a straight-line race and produced fewer than 3000 cars, all painted black except for the Marlboro version which was red and white. The GMC Cyclone is possibly the most famous pickup truck in history. The Cyclone was surprisingly fast at the time and immediately secured its legendary status. Way back in 1991, car and driver drag raced the GMC Cyclone against a Ferrari 348TS. Of course, the Cyclone came on top, needing 14.1 seconds to clear the quarter mile, 0.4 seconds quicker than the Ferrari. On a good day, Cyclone can even run a quarter mile in 13.4 seconds. The truck emphasized a turbocharged 280 horsepower V6 engine, 
which send power to all four wheels. According to a current driver on 1991 comparison test, the cyclone could accelerate to 100 km per hour in a shockingly fast for the time of 5.3 seconds and could run 14.1 seconds in the quarter mile. At number 3 we have 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. They may say this is possibly the winner on this list. This car has the following stats. 475 horsepower, 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.8 seconds, 8 speed auto with paddle shifters and a 6.4 liter V8 engine. And then you apprehend all that is sitting in Jeep's largest SUV. The massive 15 inch rotors are capped by a 6 piston Brembo calipers. The SRT suspension has various tracks and sports modes, allowing this heavy beast to achieve 090 on the skid pad. That's in line with 1990 sports cars. If that's not enough to make you want one, consider that it's still an SUV that seats 5 adults. Think of it as a tall, eco unfriendly Tesla P85D. At number 2 we have the Subaru Legacy Spec B. The marvelous thing about the Subaru Legacy is that the majority of the general public has no idea what they are. Well, don't get me wrong, in the United Kingdom you will actually see loads of them, but they are generally packed with walking gear, dogs and children. The Subaru Legacy Spec B is the ultimate all-rounder with a 6-speed manual transmission, 247 horsepower boxer engine and a top quality dampers. Additionally, while the stiffer suspension limits body roll, it does not beat you up when the road gets bumpy, and the sports seats keep you securely in place during drifts and sweeping corners. Lastly, at number 1, we have the Audi S8 D2. When many ex-special operatives needed an undercover performance car, there was only one vehicle for the job, and that was the S8. The 335 horsepower V8 powered Super Saloon was a perfect example of restrained design. Almost nothing about the handsome car pointed to its supercar baiting performance. The silver mirrors and the discreet badges were the only giveaways. With an advanced quattro system, the Audi S8 could haul itself to 100 km per hour in 5.7 seconds. I personally want one, but running costs are a huge turnoff. And that concludes the 7 fast cars people think are slow. We would love to hear your thoughts about these cars in the comment section down below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. That's it for today. We are Majestic Cars and we wish you a majestic day.